Hey folks, welcome to Transplant Helper today. My name is Jim Burrell. I'm so excited to be with you today to be able to spend this time in our discussion that we're about to be in. It's one that I hope is really going to motivate you to better live the transplant life. At least that's my intention. But I think you're already beginning to think to yourself, Jim, there's a little something missing from this, and that is we don't see you. We cannot find you on the camera. You're not sitting behind the microphone. You're not where you normally are. So what in the world is wrong? I think that's probably the first question you might ask. Well, honestly, there's nothing wrong. What I'm trying to do for you today is to illustrate that we are not always going to be in the place in life where you would be expected to be, whether it be the expectations of those looking on from the outside or those uh, within our sales, where we expect ourselves to be to a certain place by a certain time. And there's a lot of reason for that. One reason for that is because if we're living the transplant life and we're on this journey called life, uh, we all start out at different places. So someone may start out, uh, say transplant was a certain given place illustrated by my chair sitting in front of the camera. Someone may start out out from my chair 10 miles away and so they've got a long long way to go in order to get up to the ultimate goal we would call now the transplant chair other people might start out nine miles away or two miles away or, or just a few steps away from it and be right there at the door knocking to come in to sit in the chair of the blessed life of transplant so everybody starts at a different position number two everybody in that case also they 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 stall a different position and i mean by that we go so far things are looking up things are looking bright you know you think you're about to get that new organ whether it's a heart lung liver kidney pancreas whatever and then something comes up maybe you get sick or maybe uh, there's an available organ but but it's not right something stalls your progress and you feel like sometimes you take a few steps back or maybe you just step right off of the cliff and then it's a real hard game to try to climb your way back to the top to try to again reach that goal that is in front of you but all i want you to see here is even though i'm not there behind the camera right now that doesn't mean number one that i'm not somewhere and number two that i'm not trying to get there and that's the way i want you to think about yourself this morning is think of yourself and saying it that if you don't see yourself where you're supposed to be or where you expect to be that doesn't mean that you're not somewhere and it certainly doesn't mean that you're not trying to get there so you give me just a moment i'm going to get to where you expect me to be and we're going to continue this discussion Okay, folks, is that more like it? This is where you expected me to be. This is where you want me to be. This, for a matter of fact, is where I want to be sitting in this transplant helper chair, which to me represents an opportunity at life and an opportunity to share my thoughts on various subjects. Let me encourage you today that wherever you are in life, wherever you are, that you're beginning to set forth in your mind a set of goals or achievements or whatever you want to call it that you want to reach for. My daughter, 16 years old, and sometimes nowadays she just randomly walks around and she sees something or some that she wants or someone she wants to, to you know, to be around, a friend, whatever, and she said, that's goals that's goals and, and i finally figured out what she means by that is that that is one of her goals or that is a goal that she would like to reach so i want you to sit with me today and think about some of the goals that you want to reach in the next six months six years 60 years hopefully I hadn't seen anybody live that long after transplant but we're all trying aren't we i want you to set yourself some goals in your mind today to do something and if you want to run a marathon run a marathon if you want to have the ability to go to the mailbox then get up and go to the mailbox i mean just set yourself a goal decide where you want to be in a certain period of time so set some goals you know if you want to lose 10 pounds go ahead and give that a try do what's needful to do that drink water skip out on soft drinks uh, watch your sugars uh, watch your carbs do a lot of things it doesn't really matter how you go about it but set a goal to do that. If it's if it's more energy, more stamina, uh, go ahead and exercise to get to that point. If it's the fact that you just have a goal of, of maybe going back to work after transplant, strive for that goal. Make it possible. And if you don't see that your physical body is going to quite be there, start getting your, your mental body there. Start getting your mind ready, training to do something uh, that, that maybe you've never tried before. Maybe something that you'll enjoy 
even more. So number one, set your goals. Number two, once you set goals, whatever they are, and you make them up all on your own, once you set those goals, share those goals. And I mean by that, make yourself accountable to someone else, a friend, a family member, a co-worker, uh, whatever, an acquaintance. It really doesn't matter. Find a total stranger and just tell them, okay, here's who I am. I'm a transplant patient from X date, and I'm g- trying to strive to get better, to get stronger, to, to live my life in a better way, to really live my life for the first time maybe in a while. And here's what I'm wanting to accomplish. Here are my goals. And give them a written copy. Send them a text with, the, with your goals in it, whatever. But let them know what your desires are, where you want to be, and, and the time frame in which you want to be. It. Share those goals with them so that they can help you to become accountable because it matters. You know, I say on the end of every one of these programs, I'll say it here in just a few moments, that I want us all to stay stronger, friends. And what I mean by that is I want us to be stronger uh, physically, emotionally, spiritually, to really just in any area that we can find or discover to find the new strength, to take care of and advantage of the blessing that we have. So set those goals, share those goals. And here's a really important one start those goals. Number three, start those goals. You know, I've, I've noticed in life that anybody who wants to start something starts with a step. A step starts with a step, if that makes any sense, okay? Or walking starts with a step. That's pretty much the case in all of our lives. We have to have a place where we're going to say in our mind, whether it be up on a calendar like it's behind me, whether it be on, on a watch, which I don't actually have a watch, but like on, 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 a, on a time right here, 9, 16 in the morning, set a time, set a date, set whatever. And don't set it out in the oblivion. Set a time and date. If it's this moment today and say, I want to start something new. I want to set my goals. I want to share my goals with my friends, and I want to start them today. You know, it's the little things sometimes. Sometimes, especially some of us, we come out of transplant, yeah, we've got that new organ, we've got that new opportunity, we've got that new energy, but like I heard someone talking about last night uh, on a, a video she did, Jennifer Berliner, if I said that wrong, I apologize. Big shout out to her. I'll link her video below the video, my video here. I want you to go out and watch it, but she made mention of the fact that since her heart transplant that she does fine walking. She can walk and walk. It's when she puts a little bit of, uh, of uh, resistance in that, maybe adding some stairs to it that she really, really struggles. Well, there's a goal she can set. I'm going to start walking up and down the steps. Not necessarily stairs, 20 flights of stairs, but I'm going to start walking up and down the steps, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this as to why I don't have the strength to do that, and if so, how I can have the strength to do that. And she's battled a lot. She's been through a lot, cancers twice, that sort of thing. But still, setting goals and starting those goals. Start today. So go ahead Pick out something you want to do and get started with it. And here's the next one. Number four, not only set those goals, share those goals, start those goals, but sustain those goals. You know, I think that's the thing about goals. And and a lot of times we think about goals around New Year's because people have New Year's resolutions. I I knew a young man one time that used to work for me, and he said, Jim, I'm going to be setting me some New Year's resolutions. Well, I hope he changes the world while he does it, but it's resolutions. But nonetheless, it's a goal. It's an achievement that you got in front of you in your mind that you want to get to. But sustain those things. It doesn't do any good to start and quit. You know, you put that in the football arena. We just finished up college football season. I think pro football season has a few game or two, or at least the Super Bowl left. You put any of those guys, they've got the ball in their hand, they're running toward their goal line, they're about to score. Where can they stop to stop the score? Well, they could stop on the on the 50, on the 40, on the 30. They could stop on the half-yard line, the one-foot line, and still not reach that goal. Why is that? There's no, no way that we need to be stopping. We have to sustain what we do so we set goals we share goals we start those goals and we sustain them that's what i want to encourage you to do because you see when the video started out i was not where you expected me to be because honestly i wasn't where i expected me to be but i knew where i had to go i knew where i had to get and here i am i'm right here where i want to be uh, producing putting together videos that hopefully 
will advocate, educate, and motivate you. Now, I want to tell you about something very special. I'm going to be starting back here in just another week or two, and that is I'm going to start back a series I did, oh, I guess seven or eight years ago called Friday's Fighters. And what Friday's Fighters is all about is every Friday I'm going to feature someone that I stumble on on Facebook, on Twitter, someone that introduces themselves to me through this program. I want to find someone that has gone through the transplant process. They fought hard. They've been through a lot, but yet they fought and they've been a fighter and they won. They've won this battle so far. So people uh, like Jennifer, I mentioned a moment ago, who's had cancer twice, heart transplant, that's a fighter. We're going to be hopefully getting a hold of her. And I hadn't even asked you, Jennifer, but I'm asking you now. We're going to sit down and have a phone conversation and then put that out there so you all can hear that about how their stories go. And so if you want to be a part of that, I hope and hope and hope that you've watched all the way the video. And then you'll take that opportunity. Go over to Facebook, search my name, J-I-M-M-U-R-R-E-L-L. It's on the screen right here. Search my name. Send me a friend request if you want. I'd love for that. But at least send me a message, a private message. Tell me a little bit about your story and tell me you'd like to be involved because I want to start featuring some of Friday's best fighters here coming in the next few weeks. I appreciate you joining me today. If this video has helped to motivate you in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed to this channel or maybe you're brand new to viewing, today is your day to subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification out beside it. And I want to continue to provide you with content, which hopefully will advocate, educate, and motivate you as a transplant patient. And until next time, friends, please stay stronger, friends.